Hello, my name is David Castillo, Segment 2 Structure Superintendent here for Dragados Flat Iron Joint Venture High Speed Rail. Welcome to Cross Creek Viaduct. Cross Creek Viaduct is west of State Route 43, south of Lansing Avenue in Kings County. DFJV is constructing a 2,500 foot long bridge and the Cross Creek Viaduct will take the high speed train over Cross Creek Waterway. CIDH stands for Cast and Drill Hole. It's a Caltrans specified term which is commonly called drilled shaft throughout the country. The use of CIDH pile is controlled by loads transferred to the ground. Single large diameter piles, in our case 84 and 90 inch, are used to support our column and bent cap structures. If driven piles are used, typically a larger foundation is required. At Cross Creek, there are 36 bents with two piles at each bent. 19 of the bents are 84 inch CIDH pile, 17 of them are 90 inch CADH pile, and we also have two abutments that contain eight 48 inch CIDH at each abutment. The deepest pile that we'll be driving here at Cross Creek is 122 foot deep, and it's an 84 inch pile. There are 72 total CIDH holes that will be drilled. The installation process is using a drill rig to start the casing in. Then they'll use the 895 crane and an ape hammer 400 to vibrate the steel temp casing into the ground 25 to 27 feet. Polymer slurry is used to stabilize the soil, sands and clay in order to drill to depth. Powdered synthetic slurry is hydrated in large tanks and stored for use. Then the slurry is pumped into the hole as the drilling process begins. Using the drill rig, they will drill out the temp casing and then install a 96 or 108 inch diameter CMP casing and grout it into place. They will then drill to tip, clean the slurry and the bottom of the shaft with the spin bottom drum. Then they will run the vertical shape test. The shape test tool checks the verticality of the shaft as well as the shape. After the shape test, then a squid test is performed because these piles are in bearing to the bottom of the shaft and they must meet the required specifications with five readings taken at the north, south, east, west, and then the center of the shaft. The slurry is maintained 10 foot above the encountered groundwater in order to counter react the hydrostatic pressure. The slurry level is maintained at this elevation throughout the drill and placement of concrete. When drilling is complete, the slurry is properly recycled, clean prior to concrete placement to ensure that any previous suspended solids are removed so that they will not contaminate the concrete that is being placed. Steel reinforcement cages are lowered into the drilled holes, providing structural support for the bridge. With the rebar in place, it is time for the concrete to be poured. Concrete is carefully pumped into the drilled holes, surrounding the reinforcement and forming a solid foundation on which the bridge will rest. There's approximately 10,800 cubic yards of concrete that are poured into all the CIDH pile. Here at Cross Creek, Condon Johnson is our subcontractor. Their team is very understanding in the difficulty that is involved with drilling below grade. Both teams, DFJV and Condon Johnson, have worked well together to get this project done. 